Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're still with you on this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show, and uh, we have a very interesting segment in store for you. It is about the pharmaceutical field uh, in the country now. Since its establishment in 1949, the International Pharmaceutical Students Federation, or the IPSF for short, represents now more than 350,000 pharmacy students and recent graduates in 84 countries worldwide. And joining us uh, this morning in the studio for a more in-depth discussion on uh, this uh, very interesting federation are our guests in the studio. Start with the ladies first, Dr. Sara Al Mahdi, uh, IPSF EMRO member, and uh, Dr. Tariq Weil, IPSF EMRO regional relations officer. Thank you so much for coming in this Thank morning and a very good morning today. to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. And uh, Dr. Tariq, I wanted to start out with you. If you want to uh, give us some uh, more details about the organization and how it serves uh, pharmaceutical students. Okay, uh, the IPS office uh, was established in 1949 as the uh, international representative of uh, pharmacy students all over the world and recent graduates also. Uh, was established uh, by having eight pharmacy uh, student associations, then it spread to reach eight, uh, 84 countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Federation aims to uh, serve all the needs of uh, the pharmaceutical students uh, through um, through many events and campaigns, uh, they do awareness for the student how to increase the skills of uh, the pharmacy students, not only to be uh, the one who's studying, but also to be a leader in his field. Uh, focus also mainly on three areas. Just focus on three areas: mm -hmm. uh, public health campaigns and uh, professional development, and also uh, it focus about uh, increasing the skills of student leadership skills, as uh, Tori had just said. Uh, we have uh, many public health campaigns, mainly the diabetes and healthy living, uh, tuberculosis, uh, anti-tobacco. Uh, uh, and also uh, AIDS and awareness campaign and HIV virus. Mm -hmm. uh, through this campaign, we raise the awareness of people about these uh, important diseases. Uh, also, we have the professional development uh, segment. Mm -hmm. uh, professional development um, aims that students uh, can uh, uh, implant what they uh, study in theoretical life uh, throughout the uh, patient counseling events we, uh, we host and uh, uh, increasing the interaction, the soft skills, uh, we have a very important uh, um, program, it's called LIT, Leaders in uh, Training. Uh, the LIT, we had the honor uh, to first uh, host it in Egypt in 2009, and then in Amman, and then in uh, Doha. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, sure. Right, uh, Dr. Uh, Tore, aside, of course, from the services that you provide, uh, not only to the members uh, or the pharmaceutical body, uh, but also you mentioned public health awareness programs. Um, I yeah. want you to speak to me a bit more in depth about these awareness programs. How do they work? Who do you reach out to? How do, do you go to rural areas, or is it a grassroots level, or is it on international level? How exactly do you get to where you're going? Okay. Mm. Uh, the IPSF has official relations with the WHO, mm -hmm. so all the, uh, the World Health, health Organization. Yeah, yeah, the World, mm -hmm. right. yeah, yeah, the World Health Organization. Right. Uh, so the campaigns, the, the awareness of the, of the campaigns or the launching of these campaigns is related to the World Health Days mm -hmm. to, to make it an international awareness. Right. So okay. when the anti-smoking day comes, you guys go down yes. yeah. with your yeah. the World with Health the publication mm -hmm. on the internet, mm -hmm. on the websites, Facebook, mm -hmm. and all the social medias. And we uh, go to the association, send them kits uh, to do the awareness. The association starts to make, uh, to make awareness campaigns in the campus of their university. Also, they go to clubs, hospitals, malls to increase the awareness of the whole society international-wise. Mm -hmm. um, it was also... Um, the aim of IPSF to uh, to expand uh, worldwide and reach more students in different uh, different regions. So uh, they thought of uh, establishing a regional office for each region. Mm -hmm. We have four regional offices: the uh, IPSF uh, African Regional Office and the IPSF Eastern Mediterranean Regional Office and the IPSF Asian uh, Asian uh, Regional Office and also the IPSF Pan American Regional Office. Of course, Egypt is located in uh, the Emro the Emirate region, the IPSF Emirate region, mm -hmm. uh, and it was established in 2008. Uh, the approval uh, was um, in the 54th uh, Congress in Romania. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, co it consisted of elected pharmacy students uh, who was elected uh, annually. Uh, we have six members in the regional working group who are the chairperson, the secretary, mm -hmm. the regional project officer, and the regional relations officer. Also, the uh, internal coordination and uh, communication officer, mm -hmm. besides the chairperson of each uh, Eastern Mediterranean Regional Symposium. Mm 
Uh, you mentioned that there was a conference that you were hosting, the Federation was hosting, and also an awards ceremony. If you can tell us more about the conference, what will be discussed at the conference, and uh, how often do you hold these conferences with okay. your Federation? Uh, <coughs> this year, we, we're holding the third uh, regional uh, symposium, Eastern Mediterranean Regional Symposium, which will take place in Khartoum, Sudan. Uh, the first one took place in Amman, uh, Amman, Jordan, and the second one uh, was hosted in uh, Qatar, Doha, Qatar. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have the 58th uh, international conference. These conferences and regional symposium are carried out every year. So there is a symposium for each region, and there is an international co uh, international congress for all the pharmacy students. We we'll also have other delegations that goes to uh, other conferences. Uh, for instance, we have. Um, a collaboration with the FIP, which is the Federation of the International Pharmacists, and we have delegation that goes every year to these con uh, to these congresses. Uh, the FIP Congress will take place in Netherlands. Right. We can actually see some of the pictures now on the screen yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that are being uh, shown to our viewers. Are these some of the uh, pictures of your conferences that took place? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. conferences plus activities and campaigns. Right. And, uh, yeah, this one uh, was took uh, in the Empress. Uh, 2000, uh, 2010 in Amman, this was the uh, regional poster competition. Mm -hmm. This was the evaluator uh, asking the uh, participants. Uh, this one also was taken in Amman 2010, this was the group picture of uh, the whole participants. Mm -hmm. yeah. So right. who, who's taking part in this upcoming conference? Who's taking part? Pharmacy students and recent graduates mm -hmm. in uh, EMPS, the Eastern Mediterranean Pharmaceutical Symposium, which will be held in uh, Khartoum, Sudan. Uh, will start on next Friday. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> uh, soon. It has, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Good. It has uh, 250 right. participants from more than 11 countries. Excellent, Dr. Sara. Uh, speaking now on another uh, segment or another level of research. Moving on to research, you're also involved in a lot of research campaigns, uh, academic mobility, pharmacy curricular, student learning experience, as well as uh, emerging <coughs> emerging pharmacists and intention to migrate. These are all. I mean, we, these are all things on the ground here that we see e in Egypt. Tell me a bit more about the research side. Uh, yes, we have uh, several programs for research, ongoing one and ongoing two and ongoing three. three right. Yes, uh, they uh, aim to uh, increase the skills of uh, pharmacy students to research about uh, new subjects and new uh, uh, new fields in pharmacy. As you know now, uh, the world is, uh, is fast growing about the science. And therefore, uh, we have implanted these three programs. We also have student exchange programs. Uh, uh, students uh, exchange, uh, have training, summer trainings, mm. yes, abroad. Mm. Uh, in, uh, uh, as we mentioned before, we have 84 member countries, so uh, they have the, free, uh, the freedom to choose any of the countries to, uh, to have their, tra their summer training there and uh, experience a different side of uh, pharmacy profession in other country Indeed. worldwide. Mm -hmm. And this because enhances uh, cultural relations yes, and also definitely. and the, the sciences skills. grow within, I mean, mm. when you meet new people from different countries, yes, they face culture, different cultural interaction and culture mm -hmm. grow you know, on a personal the level. They grow on personal mm -hmm. level beside professional mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Because I mean a lot of countries uh, for example, a lot of Egyptians want to move to Canada or Australia or America. They have to go and study and take another exam. So yes. it's a totally different curriculum. They would have an idea mm. about how the pharmacy profession is uh, there. Practiced. Uh, yes, uh, especially in Canada and uh, Europe. And this, uh, pharmacies are a little bit more oriented clinically, mm. uh, patient skills. And that's why we even locally, we have uh, many patient counseling events and uh, awards, international awards, uh, uh, the PCE, which is the... Uh, patient counseling events. Right. Yeah, we have regional competitions for patient counseling and for clinical skills, and it's, all, it's also hold international level. Mm -hmm. And there is, uh, the, uh, there is uh, students that are awarded every year. Uh, in IPSF AMRO, uh, because uh, we've seen the activity of the members, because um, uh, during the past two years, uh, three of the IPSF international annual awards were given to AMRO associations. In 2000, um, 2010, uh, QFIS Qatar won the award of Otto Fucking, the best new rookie. And um, Atip Tanaja uh, won the award of Otto Fucking 2011, the best new rookie. Uh, EPSF Egypt won the award of, uh, this was last year, right. the award of uh, Sydney Giralf Award. Mm -hmm. It's for the overall best performance in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we hold, uh, we, we started launching IPSF EMRU Awards, uh, which will be awarded um, to uh, the best contact person who will present 
the best report about an IPSF activity carried in the uh, in the Emir region. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, there is another award for the most active member of the subcommittees because. Uh, we have three subcommittees new in EMRO, the Regional Relations Subcommittee and the Sponsorship Subcommittee and the Publication Subcommittee. And the most active member in each of these will, will be uh, having Awarded. an award. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these are all kinds of initiatives really mm -hmm. to get uh, people more involved. Uh, you were speaking about uh, student, uh, ca uh, student Rob. Pharmacist, uh, pharmacist uh, uh, patient counseling, which yes. is another thing that we really see in Egypt. A lot of the times you go to the pharmacy and you kind of have a conversation with the pharmacist. Well, what do you think this is a good uh, yes. medicine? What's an alternative? And there is really that interaction between a pharmacist yes. here in Egypt, is which isn't often yes, seen. We're and sometimes they actually go to the pharmacy to kind of diagnose what they have instead of As going to the doctor. This is what we're trying to do, mm. to, uh, to change the role of, pharmac of pharmacists mm. instead of just dispensing the, the drugs to uh, rather patient counseling them about the drugs uh, because many of the... Of the uh, as we, you know, pharmacists are doctors to, to many of the Egyptians here. Mm -hmm. So uh, also we have a pharmacy profession awareness campaign uh, so that we raise awareness uh, to, uh, to people on the importance of pharmacy profession and how can we different aspects of pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Right. I also want to s uh, ask you about the Leaders in Training program. Could you tell yes. us a bit more about that initiative? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this initiative was uh, meant to uh, by the IPSF in collaboration with the IFMC, which is the International Federation of Medical Students Association. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it aims to increase the leadership skills of pharmacy students. So uh, you're not only a pharmacy student, you have to be a leader in your place. Uh, so uh, you're giving uh, trainings about personal development, project management, time management, team dynamics, succession planning, and handover. Mm -hmm. So we prepared the pharmacy student to be... Um, to be a leader and to do these successful trainings in, on local levels in their associations so we can uh, achieve the aim of IPSF where students are the ones who make the difference. It seems like your organization is very well-rounded and creates a very well-rounded pharmaceuticals. <laughs> we wish you all the luck. Uh, Dr. Tori Oweil and Dr. Sora El Mahdi, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. Thank you for having us today. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Right, and Nadim, I guess with that, we've come to the end of this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. We hope you've enjoyed it. And do join us again tomorrow, same time, same place, same channel for another crew and another edition of The Breakfast Show. Till then, a very good morning to you and goodbye. Have a good day. <laughs>